And for today, I'm going to show you how to create this Sugar Skull Halloween look using only regular makeup. So if you'd like to figure out how I make, created this look, then keep on watching. First, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Smudge Pot in Ain't That Sweet. And I'm just going to apply this all over my face where I want the highlighted areas to be. Okay, now I'm going to take my... <clears throat> City Colors on the Go palette, and I'm going to go in with the white shimmer shade, and I'm going to apply that all over where I just put the e.l.f. product. I am being very, very generous with this. Okay, now that I have the highlights out of the way, now I am going to go in with a very black shade. So I'm gonna dip into my e.l.f. Um, cream, cream liner. And I'm just gonna tip my finger in it and just kinda try to Blend this in and create sharp lines where I want. Now that I have that, I can set it with the powder, but let me go ahead and do my eyes as well. And I'm going to bring this right up to the brow bone. I want to be careful. I want to make sure I keep everything nice and clean. Don't want to get this where the highlight is. Okay, now that I have the black base down where I want it, for now, I'm going to go ahead and grab my black shadow, and I'm going to set all that with my brush. Okay, now I'm going to use my black pencil and I'm just gonna go in and fill my brows 
and clean the edges of my shape. I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. I'm just doing like a two teardrop shapes on the tip of my nose. All right, now for the mouth. First, I need to pale out my lips. So for that, I am going to go back in with my elf pot. And I'm just going to tap that. Now that I have my black areas well defined, I can go back in and add more highlights. Especially right here. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with the white. Push the knees for the white. I don't remember. I'll just grab this one. It's fine. Alright, now that I have that set, I can move on with the mouth. For the mouth, I'm going to go back with my Hikari lip pencil, and I'm just going to draw in the teeth. I'm just drawing a line across halfway across my lips so it looks like the skull's mouth is partially open. your teeth outlined where you want this is where you can really start going into detail okay so to go into details I'm gonna go in with my black Ico liquid pen, um, liner now if you just want to do a skull this is a very quick simple way to do a skull but we're going for a sugar skull so I'm gonna go up a notch Probably the worst heart I've ever drawn in my life. All right, now I'm gonna go in and add some more designs.
Well, that one came out a lot better than that one, that's for sure. Once you have this, um, you can just go in and add more detail. You, you can go in with a color. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild color icon. Then I'm going to add some color to this heart because it's very crooked. I'm going to add some color to this heart because it's slightly crooked. So I'm going to hope that I can straighten it out just a bit just with the color. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and color in my flowers. Now I'm just going to grab a pigmented white eyeshadow and I might as well use these um, Beauty Treats palette that I did not like. And I'm just going to sharpen up my teeth. And lastly, I'm going to go into this um, hard candy palette and I'm going to grab the orange shade in here, which is very pigmented, thankfully. And I'm just going to try to color in the flower very lightly. I'm also going to take this blue shade right there and I'm going to paint the design on the bottom. And I'm just using a sponge tip applicator, as you can see. Tapping the color and the shapes. Hmm. I think I'm going to put some blue up here. Alright, I'm going to take a little bit of that yellow. And I'm going to see if I can dab it right in the middle of that flower. And I'm going to let it right in the center of that shape right there. Okay, I'm going to take some green. I'm going to fill this shape here. Then I'm going to go back to that yellow. And that's it for this sugar skull look, guys. I did the entire thing using regular makeup. So I hope that it inspires you to create your own original look using everyday makeup without having to spend any money on Halloween products or anything like that. You could dress this up by putting on a really fabulous pair of lashes or adding some sparkle around the eyes. Um, it is not hard. It just takes a matter of practicing and getting your symmetry right. Um, my symmetry is not perfect, but sugar skulls usually are not exactly perfect on both sides, so um, it works for me, and I think this would make a rockin' awesome look for a last-minute Halloween party that you didn't know you were going to go to and didn't have a costume to wear. So to finish off this look, I'm going to put my hair back in a ponytail, And then I am going to take this black veil that came from one of my daughter's old Halloween costumes. And I'm just going to drape this over my head. Obviously, if you don't have an old veil from a Halloween costume, you can just use a black scarf. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button down below if you like for me to do other Halloween looks. And 
Um, I will see you guys on tomorrow's video. Have a good night. Bye.